at this place in history we're horsing around. I'm with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, where are we? The most exquisite barn is just behind us. I know. We've been talking about coming here for a long time and we decided spring is the best time. So we're in Weybridge and we're at the University of Vermont Morgan Horse Farm. Has a great history, uh, a breeding center for the U.S. Cavalry and now a research center for uh, the University of Vermont. But we're going to learn all about Morgan horses today. So um, the director of the a horse farm is here, Stephen Davis, and he's going to bring us through. So this place is amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about the history? What went on here? Uh, a man named Joseph Battelle founded it, built his show barn in 1878, and he assembled a superior group of Morgan horses and did a lot of work breeding selectively. And so the Morgan breed is extremely fortunate for his early work. Um, he wanted it continued, so he... Um, engineered a political deal that was really quite savvy and remarkable and he gave the facility to the United States government. The United States Department of Agriculture operated the facility for 40 some years, uh, initially with a military mission. As that phased out quite quickly it became a research station and a lot of valuable research on light horses was done here. What is the significance of the Morgan horse to the history of Vermont? Oh, well, the Morgan is the indigenous breed that's cleared the fields and transported the colonists to, to and fro. As I understand it, uh, young stallions, uh, which were bred and reared here, were initially trained, and then they were sent out to military installations around the country for use on the native mares of the area. And the resultant offspring would have been mounts for the cavalry. Is this a place that people can come and visit? Oh, you bet. Um, we're open officially May through October, so we've just started the season and you're not getting a groundswell <laughs> of a crowd here this morning. Um, but if you come here in July and August, for example, or more particularly foliage season, it's mm -hmm. a, a leading Addison County attraction. So this was totally worth it coming down here, right? <laughs> so much fun. We're kicking it here in Weybridge at this place in history.